Hello everybody and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge. It's been about a week since I last played. I'm trying to remember exactly where we left off and all the things that I did. Now what are all these people doing here? Alright, well let's get into the whole makeover situation here. So this is Jason. You all remember how he had the turtleneck. This is his party outfit by the way. This is only when we're having a party he dresses like this. But I thought it was necessary because he's a hipster and this just seems like something a hipster would wear. Anyway, I gave him a big hipster beard and a nice hipster beanie. I changed the color of this turtleneck to black because you can't really see the boobage going on there. I thought I gave him a septum piercing, but maybe it's gone now. I don't know. Here's Sawyer. She's adorable. She is dramatic and also she wants to be a bartender. So I just kind of gave her like a nice party, like big dramatic hair. <laughs> Of course. Otherwise, I think those are the only two that we changed. Andrea needs to go fix this. And she is pregnant, yes? Yes, she is pregnant. Okay, and we also have a new baby in the house. The other thing, too, is it's hard to tell, but I gave Jason bright red eyes because he's also evil. So he's an evil hipster. My God, it is 5 a.m. and none of my kids have done their homework. Not a good start, children. I guess since Sawyer just aged up, she doesn't have to go to school today, which is good. Because in that case, I'll just potty train Clara. No, we will not read. What do you think this is? School? We have to pee all day. So Jaina is sad right now because she has a random fear of abandonment because what is what is that trait that she has? Borderline or something? Sometimes she just randomly is like, what if everyone's faking and everyone hates me? I mean, I can definitely relate to that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always having to reschedule having a maid here, but it's getting annoying. It's like no one wants to just be my maid. And I just simply can't imagine why. Oh, you know what? It's time to age up Rachel. Sweet. Rachel's first trait is that she's independent. I like that. She's cute. And she has brown hair. Yay! Look at all my sweet children. They're so cute. Look at them just sitting on the couch on their iPads together. Oh, what the hell? Who's doing this shit? Fucking Houston. Oh, yeah, your back hurts after that? I fucking wonder why. I literally hate that guy. Clara just needs just the smallest bit of movement and then we'll be ready to throw a birthday party for her today. Oh check it out we're a b-lister now. I don't know what we just did to make this happen but damn. Oh no. Oh no who died? Why is everyone so upset? Some I mean someone died. Someone who we all know. <gasps> Was it Michaela? Who died? <gasps> It didn't tell me who. It just says we lost a child. That is so sad. I wasn't prepared for this. <gasps> no, it was Calvin. <gasps> well, where the fuck is Michaela? <laughs> oh wait, Michaela's still alive. Don't worry guys, Michaela's still alive. But Calvin died. <gasps> He died before Michaela. Oh man, damn, what a freaking bummer. Cool, all right, so Clara is up to level three on everything, which means we can throw her a birthday party. My other kids uh, need to go to school though. Someone said in the last episode's comments that like, why are you always throwing parties for birthdays? Why don't you just make a cake? And I'm like, because I like to throw parties. I like to have all my children over. You know, we have to spend all the quality time we can together before we all die calvin i'm talking to you they should have given me his headstone or something you know so we could have him as a ghost on our property i'd much rather have calvin than houston oh my kids are going to school all sad and shit except for clara apparently she doesn't care that calvin died i think that means we have to start inviting dax to birthday parties again <laughs> andrea i thought we were past this all this cooking downstairs shit does anybody see this the do you guys see what we have going on with Milton right now? Is that a llama? Is that a llama he's dressed as right now? All right, Clara, I know you're really sad, but it is time to blow out the candles. It's your birthday, honey. Andrea, stop molding clay. We have things to do. I hired a caterer and an entertainer too. Why is everyone all like, oh, their sibling died too. Damn, this is gonna be, that's, see, that's why I had to hire all these people because like everyone just needs a moment, you know? Okay, Clara. Oh, she's creative. And I haven't gone through and counted how many children's aspirations there are here, but I guess I should do that. 83, okay. She is right smack dab in the middle at trait number 45. Time to get to counting. Ooh, Clara has an awakened mind. Due to blessed DNA, these Sims rarely need to sleep. Their mind gains mental skills much faster too. They also never get uncomfortable because of their advanced mind. Dang, Clara 
Sarah, that's pretty cool. She, so she's creative and she has like this crazy like awakened mind. Man, that would have been good for uh, a matriarch, you know? Anyway, she's cute. So we got the mixologist. I know I hired a caterer, which I'm not seeing anywhere unless he's like downstairs. Hey, Michaela. Glad you're still alive. Please don't die. But yeah, I'm not seeing an entertainer or a caterer, so I'm not sure what that's about, but I definitely paid for it, so that's bullshit. This may be the last time we see you, Michaela, so let's get our freaking groove on. God, this is the most depressing birthday party. Actually, is this more depressing than when Houston actually died at our birthday party? Oh my god, what if Michaela dies at our party? By the time this baby's born, we'll have seven people, so we'll still be be able to fit one more baby in. Uh, hello vampire at my door. What you doing? If you'll notice the symbology here for Rachel, the face down here is much different than what we're used to. She must be a vampire, right? I don't know how to tell, but oh my god, no one likes him. Everyone's all scared of him. How is he a young adult? Do you see this man? He definitely looks very mature for his age. Oh, look at who else is here. The immortal Will of Vittore. They're all standing around her too, so it's like, oh, this is weird. See, look, they're both just watching her be a vampire down here. <gasps> That's creepy. I mean, this is weird. I don't like it. I don't like vampires. They scare me. Uh, TV season premiere day. Peach is the new orange. Come on, Sims. We're having an emotional meltdown. It's okay, though. It's all right, Andrea. It'll be okay. Oh, for fart's sake, Andrea. Okay, yes, we're in labor, Andrea, but you must upload that video. Okay, so we're having a problem here, though. It says Andrea's birthday is today. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We have to get pregnant, like, right away. Uh, I would have thought it would have pushed it back. Yikes. Oh, it's a boy named Rick. <laughs> oh, sweet Rick LaFarge. Okay, first and foremost, let's see if we can get Doug, because we've already got a little bit of stuff going on with him, if you know what I mean. Okay, Doug's coming over. Doug's here. Hello, my love. Hurry up, Andrea. Doug's here. Jaina's an A student. That's wonderful and everything, but um, we got stuff to do. Come on, Andrea. Chop, chop. Hurry up and take care of that baby. I'm so nervous. Go find Doug. Go find Doug. There he is. Hello, Derg. It's 4.30. I'm so scared. Oh, good lord. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Stop. Stop this shit right now. Andrea, if you turn into an old lady right now, we're gonna have a problem. Stop talking about llamas. We're not chatting. We are not fucking chatting right now. No. Sawyer, go. Why? We were supposed to have our first kiss, and now Sawyer's involved. Go away, Sawyer. Oh, we had our first kiss in front of her. It's her freaking fault. Okay, we can try for a baby now. Yes, come on. Come Come on, come on, come on. Quit standing around, oh god, come on. It is 7 p.m., dude, come on. I'm going to throw up if this gets dragged on any longer. What are we doing here? What's happening? Did Andrea just die? Okay, thank you, hurry. <gasps> Eight o'clock at night on our birthday. Yes, Tessa, you can come over and hang out. Oh my god. That was too much. It's time for the TV premiere, whatever the hell. We can all watch it as a family since mama's not going anywhere yet. Oh good, the TV broke during the premiere. Don't worry, kids. Mom's gonna fix it and then we can watch our dumb shit. Oh good, another vampire is here to maybe potentially steal my child. Yeah, so Jaina is an A student. She don't have to have a party, right? We'll just make her a cake and... Ate her up. Come on, Jaina. Make a wish. Jaina's aspiration lies under the popularity category. In particular, she wants to be a world famous celebrity. Well, okay, we can all dream. So she is gregarious, so she can build friendly relationships faster. She is also borderline, so she does have that special thing going on. And she's a heartbreaker. So she, I mean, so she's gonna be like on The Bachelorette. With her makeover, that's what we're gonna go for. Someone who is glamorous, charming, breaking all the boys' hearts. But also she's like got borderline personality disorder. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, look at that cat skirt. <laughs> yeah, uh, honey, you're gonna definitely need something new. Look who's still our maid. Wearing something a little less revealing too, aren't you, buddy? How come all my kids are still just B students. Well, you guys aren't trying hard enough. Once this baby, oh shit. The kids are off school until Monday. Let's hope this timeline works out because the kids don't go back to school till Monday and none of them 
are A students, so I can't kick them out of the house. And if we have the baby before I can kick any of them out of the house, it's gonna be a full house, and then I won't be able to get pregnant again. <gasps> the storyline continues. Oh, but hey, you know what? It's uh, Rick's birthday. Time to age up Rick. Rick is serious. <laughs> He's just a serious child. He has probably no sense of humor. Damn, Jason is gonna be the funniest criminal that ever lived. <laughs> oh, Wesley's having a birthday party. You know what, guys? Let's all go see our sweet angel boy. We're all going to Wesley's birthday party. Oh, okay, Wesley. Wow. Wow. Nice place you got here. Andrea, go give your son some birthday money. Thanks, Mom. I'm definitely richer than you, but thanks. Aw, uh, how come he gets a caterer, but when we try to hire a caterer, they don't show up? Why is Raquel literally dressed as me? Well, you know, it's great to see that Wesley's doing well for himself. Aw, Wesley. My sweet little buddy Holly boy. I love you. Well, Andrea, I guess we got more shit to do. Sherry's trying to throw some sort of benefit. Isn't Sherry, like evil or something she has like bad traits but a charity benefit huh i'm about to take oh, this no. guy's spotlight no one cares about your comedy routine and i'm gonna just play guitar because i can no it's cool let's meet some people what's up tyler something i already forgot enchanting introduction i mean that was like a long distance enchanting introduction yeah go pee sherry no one cares dang i like just met this guy and our love bar is pretty much i mean we're lovebirds let's see what about this guy eddie stanfield don't mind if i enchantingly introduce myself to you as well and you're in love with me whoa all right andrea it's 2 a.m i think it's time to go home so we made a few love interests it may be pointless though because i'm pretty sure we're gonna have our baby tonight night and the calendar still technically says our birthday is today and there's no chance for any of my children to go to school and be an a student to age them up and kick them out of the house you guys i know i've said this a lot of times but i think this might be it this whole thing with andrea has just been very stressful you know the whole past few babies it's been very stressful i'm sorry is it snowing right now oh boy this is it you guys calendar says it's andrea's birthday we're in labor. We're gonna play this out and see what happens. It's a boy! <laughs> Dalton. Dalton LaFart. I mean, it's 11.30. If she's gonna age up, like, she's gonna do it soon, right? I don't know. Rachel's ready to age up. Maybe if I just keep making Andrea potty train Rick, maybe it'll distract her enough to not age up. Haven't aged up yet, and we're breastfeeding this baby. 6 a.m., the day after our birthday. Still haven't aged up. What is going on? I'm so stressed out right now, I could throw up. You know... We could call someone over. We're just gonna keep going like nothing happened. We're gonna invite over Tyler. This is our last ditch effort. Wait a minute. Now it says today's Andrea's birthday. What? We might have a chance? Flirt, Andrea. You flirt until you can't flirt anymore. Let's make a cake. Because once these kids get home, I know that there's gonna be an A student in there somewhere. We're not even gonna even bother throwing a freaking party, dude. There we go. Jason, that's my boy. Come here. I don't care how sad you are. Blow out these damn candles. We gotta kick you out. <laughs> Could this truly be happening? Okay, so Jason is big brained. He has a knack for learning, so he's evil too. So he's gonna just be some sort of evil genius. That's fine, Jason. Get out of our house. We're gonna send Jason to go live with Milton because he's alone. We have no time to waste. I gotta get going on Tyler. Oh no, you don't get going right now, young man. No, he's leaving. He's leaving. We're gonna let him leave and then call him back over. All right, try for a baby. Walk maybe a little faster. Deal with the crying baby later. We got this. Get out, dude. Jonathan, get out of the bathroom. <laughs> That's how you do it. That is how you do things. Now we can take care of the baby, I guess. Somehow we managed to make this all work for us. I'm totally okay with this. Um, next time we pick up, you know, Andrea's pregnant again, so maybe we'll have a new matriarch. I don't know. You know, I still got a lot of stress here, okay? With that all being said, thank you so much for watching and going through this stressful time with me, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye!